we talk about glycine, and once those, those two are on, on their side, then you get sodium and calcium. Now, this, the calcium is very important for memory uh, and, and neuroplasticity. This, this is why this, this receptor is not only in control of dopamine activity in its projections, but also it's important for neuroplasticity. It kind of all fits in with the loss of brain tissue, with psychosis. You know, this, this receptor actually handles a lot of neuroplastic events in the brain. So it kind of makes a nice, cohesive, overarching uh, uh, theory for schizophrenia. So, so we're talking about that MDA receptor. This is what happens why we think a, a deficiency in glutamate may result in high dopamine uh, activity in the mesolimbic. Between, let's see if I can have the, doesn't show very well, does it? Uh, so the glutamate projects from the uh, nucleus accumbens, but it doesn't connect directly to to the, to, the, to the cerebral tissue, there's a little GABA in, uh, neuron in there. And when you put your, when you stimulate GABA, it means you inhibit some more, right? It's like a break. So basically, glutamate stimulates the break, and the break keeps dopamine under check. If you don't push the break, there's no, no inhibition of dopamine, so it goes sky high. That's what happens when glutamate transmission is weak because the NMDA receptor is not strong enough. So here's, what, here's basically the normal state. Glutamate acts as a break on dopamine, and what happens with the hypoactive glutamate, the break is off, and then we see dopamine go sky high and delusions, hallucinations result. So instead of 